We're going to look at the skills practice for section 4.1. We're going to use this diagram and describe each pair of segments as parallel skew or intersecting. So we're going to look at segment EG and segment ML. Segment EG and segment ML. They're both on the ceiling. They don't touch each other. Those are parallel. I'm going to use that little symbol there. That means parallel. Number two, segment LK, that's this vertical segment, and segment EG, it's a horizontal segment that's in front of it. They are not on the same plane. They don't touch each other. That's what you call skew segments. Number three, segment LK and segment GH. There's segment LK. There's segment GH. They're both on this right side wall. They don't touch each other. That's parallel again. Number four, segment EG and segment GH. Notice how they intersect here at point G. They touch each other. Another way you can tell is they both have a G. So those are intersecting segments. Number five, segment JN, that's this one, and segment ML, that's this one. These are in two completely different planes. They're going in different directions. They don't touch. That's skew segments. Number six, I don't even need a picture. I can tell they both have a K, so that's intersecting. Okay, so there'll be a small section like this on your test, just identifying the pairs of segments, parallel skew or intersecting. Now, using that same diagram, we're going to name the parts of that prism. So, number 11 says to name all six planes. I'm going to zoom out just a bit so I can kind of catch the picture and the question. So we're going to name the ceiling first. Just pick three letters from it. EGL works. That's how you name the ceiling. Now I'm going to name the floor next. I'll name it plain NJH. Front plane. We'll name that plain EGH. And then the back plane We'll name it MLK. Plane on the right. We'll name that plane GLK. And then the plane on the left, MEJ. Those are your six planes. For number 12, they want you to list all the pairs of the parallel planes. So for example, ceiling and floor, front wall, back wall, right wall, left wall. I named them in that order just so it would be easier to name the parallel planes. Those two planes are parallel. That's the parallel mark in between them. Number 13, we're looking for all segments skew to segment JH. So here's segment JH. We want ones that are skewed to it, like segment LK. Or segment MN. Those are two segments that are skewed to it. Now there's more. Segment GL is also skewed to it. And segment EM is as well. Skew segments, remember, are segments that don't touch and aren't in the same plane. All segments parallel to segment EG. There's three of them. We'll have one here, here, and here. So that's segment JH, segment NK, and segment ML. 
Number 15, all segments intersecting segment ML. Find segment ML. The ones that intersect it will be the ones that touch M, those two, and the ones that touch L, those two. So that would be segment EM and segment MN, also segment GL and segment LK. We'll go back now that we've used this diagram enough and we'll look at this number 13 again. I'm going to show you a different way to do it. All segments skew to segment G, J, H. So we're talking about that segment. Skew segments are segments that don't touch. So you can cross off all the ones that touch it. For example, these segments touch segment J, H. So they can't be skewed to it. Also, skew segments aren't parallel to each other, so you can cross off all the ones that are parallel to it. And notice what you're left with. You're left with... I've got to find a different color here. I've got a green in here, maybe. The green segments are going to be the ones that are skewed to it, because this one doesn't touch it, and it's not parallel to it. This one doesn't touch it. It's not parallel to it. And same thing with these two. So those four green segments don't touch the red one, and they're not parallel to it either. 